tea planters in Assam's Tinsukia district are shell-shocked as the gruesome incident of December 26 is still fresh in their minds when a tea planter and his wife were allegedly burned to death in their bungalow. Times Now brings you a ground report. An eerie silence now prevails here at the Kanopa 30 estate in Assam's Tinsukia district. And these burned down remains of vehicles and this house remind us of the horrific events of December 26th. When a mob of unruly workers brutally hacked to death the owners of this estate and torched their bungalow and their vehicles. And then came the most disturbing revelation. One of the eyewitnesses has stated before the police that the attackers first hacked to death Middle Kumar Bhattacharji and his wife Rita Bhattacharji and later ate the flesh and drank the blood before putting the bodies on fire. And he also mentions that before setting the dead bodies on fire, they basically drank the blood and ate the flesh. So these two facts have to be verified. In a state where tea plantations are a crucial part of the economy, this incident has left tea planters shell-shocked. I'm here for the last 50 years or so and I have never seen or heard any incident like this. This will harm the economy of the whole state. Whole state will suffer for this incident. Only eight of the 15 identified accused have been arrested so far. And with the police refusing to rule out the hand of Maoists in the attack, the onus now on the administration to allay security fears among tea planters. With Arundhom and Tinsukya, Raul Dalal, Times Now.